welcome to a brief tutorial on how to use a twin needle. I'm going to demonstrate this today on the new Janome 12000. First of all, you do get a twin needle with your machine. It comes in the packet here. And also you will need to put your extra spool holder on. On most machines you will have a vertical spool holder but on the new 12,000 we have a horizontal spool holder and that simply fits in here. So I'm going to go ahead and get another colour thread and place that on the spool holder and pop the stopper on the end. I'm now going to take out the needle that's in the machine and pop the twin needle in. The first thread is placed on the machine in the normal manner and threaded following the track in the normal manner down to the needle. The second thread, we're going to thread the same way down to the needle. And now I'm going to thread the needles. The first thread is going through the left hand needle and the second thread is going to go through the right hand needle. going to place the F foot on the machine and now we're ready to sew. I'm going to start off with a straight stitch. Just got a piece of cream fabric here and with a small piece of stabiliser under the fabric. Cut my thread, the machine will lift the foot for me and my tails are cut. And there we have two rows of stitching, one black, one white. Now as there's only one bobbin, the back doesn't have two rows of straight stitching. It looks quite different. So now I'm going to show you if you want to choose a decorative stitch how you would do that. I'm going to go into my decorative stitches. Um, first I think I'll pick something from the satin stitch combination and I'm going to pick this first stitch here. You need to check on the machine that your width is suitable for twin needlework. On some machines there is an option to select a twin needle button which will automatically make your stitch narrower. This is telling me here that the stitch width is 9mm. Now if I try and sew that I'm going to break one of my needles or both. So I need to bring this back. Now I know I have a 2mm twin in so I also know if I set my width to 7 which is 2 mil shorter than the largest amount we can stitch that the needle won't hit the foot. It's always a good idea to hand turn the wheel 
to make sure the needle is not going to hit the foot. So now we're going to sew a decorative stitch with twin needles. There you have it. It makes a beautiful combination using the two coloured threads. Of course the threads could be the same colour or as shown here you could have different colours. It is quite lovely. It's a great technique. Hope you enjoyed that little tutorial. Look forward to seeing you again next time.